Today I'm going to show you how to easily set up flakes inside of NixOS system-wide. So for that, we need two things. We need a terminal window and log into root and go to the NixOS path. And additionally, we need a browser window. And here we type in NixOS flakes. And we need this page here. So basically, we need only one line here from here. Um, and this is the line to put this into our configuration next file. So I have set it here. It's literally just paste it into your configuration.nix file. And the other thing is that you need a flake.nix file. And here I just have done a little test with this thing. So the probably most stable way is to do it like this. And then you can enter certain modules here and stuff like that. And basically what I have done here is that you can add other flakes really easily, like for example, Hyperland. Here we add Hyperland real quick, uh, go into the wiki, show you. And then we do Nix. Hyperland on NixOS, I think, is the right one. Yes. So here you would then have to add the inputs path for the URL that would come up here. And then you need to make sure that here, for example, you have special Rx inherit inputs, which you don't necessarily need right now if you don't use Hyperland, but then you're like kind of future proof. Also, very, very important is that before you enter at the flake.nix file, that you have set your host name inside your configuration.nix file already to the correct host name you want. This has to be done before you enable the flake.nix file because you have to ha add the host name here and it will be uh, no, it will not be working if you don't have this set before you add the flake.nix file. Also then, if you want to, for example, add a Hyperland, adding a flake does not make the program work. So additionally, just as an example, here for Hyperland, you would have to have this file as a hyperland.nix file, for example, save this and then add this to your configuration file. So I would have to do this here and do hyperland.nix. This would be necessary to make Hyperland work this here. Obviously, you need to add the flake so you get the latest builds from GitHub. And then you need to also enable this. Flakes do not enable the applications themselves. They just make it that the sources for what you want to do are available. I hope that answered a few questions of yours if you want to get started with flakes. And I will put my default flake.nix without any additional things onto my GitHub. And I will share this in my link under the video description. So if you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you really liked the video, then consider subscribing to my channel.